Okay guys, so basically this is going to be the do-over for my other video since my iPod fell and everything, but I think I have better lighting right here. <clears throat> I have my iPod prompt up on a bunch of boxes, like little boxes and stuff. Okay, so um, I'm going to start off by saying I already uh, moisturized my face with my Cetaphil. And then um, on top of that, I put on my... If you saw my other video and are, like, <clears throat> familiar with my other video, my Mary Kay, um, sorry guys, hydrating gel. Um, isn't it kind of weird because I'm new to making videos, so, like, when you put it to the left side, it's, like, showing on the right and you're just, like, with the, <laughs> but yeah, my Mary Kay. And then we're going to start off by moisturizing our lips. I'm going to use my EOS lip balm and the mint one, I'm pretty sure. It just looks like this. Okay, after that's done, if you guys want to see a closer view on my acne, this is just what it looks like. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay. I already primed my face with my Revlon Photo Ready Primer. And then we're just going to go right ahead and start with the foundation. Now, before you guys want to put... Before you guys put foundation, if you guys always put concealer under some dark spots, maybe you want to use some green concealer to cancel out redness, some salmon color <clears throat> to um, even out your skin tone more. Um, go right ahead, but I don't like to use concealer because I don't like to use too much makeup. I really don't mind if the scars kind of show because <clears throat> I'm kind of used to it and... Um, I really don't mind, like, I'm going to have acne for a while, I'm going to have these dark spots for a while, so why am I going to pretend that I don't have them, right? <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to pump, like, a pump on my hand for right now. Put that aside. Oh, and I'm using my um, Arbonne Perfecting Liquid Foundation, if you guys wanted to know. So I'm just going to lightly dab on top of it to pick some up on my beauty blender beauty blender dupe that I got off of ebay um and then I'm gonna go right ahead and put it on my problem areas so I'm gonna put it right here on my other cheek gonna re -dab that and I'm not pressing hard either because this is kinda gonna act like my concealer so I'm pressing lightly To get that double cover action. And it's okay if you get some on your lips. We'll take that off at the end of the video. So. My sides and my face. My face always looks so weird when I get close up to the camera. And then after that we're just going to blend out a little. Not too much because you still want that coverage. And you could do this with any foundation. You just lightly dab on your problem areas and kind of blend out words. Okay, after that's done, I'm I run out. So I'm gonna add another pump <clears throat> of my foundation. And then I'm just gonna go onto my other areas. And I don't have a mirror, so I'm going to use my powder as a mirror, you guys. So if I'm looking down, it's because I'm using my mirror. So basically what I'm doing is just adding foundation to the rest of my face and blending out. So, make sure you get your hairline, the sides of your temples, your eyelids. bottom of your eyes your nose sides of your face and kind of go under your neck because you don't want to have two colors if you <clears throat> if you want you could blend further down it really doesn't matter it just depends on how your foundation color suits you I'm 
and I'm just making sure that the foundation is in my skin. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. And everything is pretty much covered up except these spots are kind of still visible. I don't mind. But this is what it looks like. <clears throat> All my redness is gone. Um, everything is pretty much gone except these. But I don't mind. <clears throat> you guys, uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to cover up those a little bit more. Just so you guys can see um, how I would do it if I wanted full coverage. So I just lightly tap on with a little bit more foundation onto those areas. And I've been breaking out more. I really don't like it, but it happens. I'm going to be going to the doctors on the 6th of next month, and they're going to put me on Accutane, so I'm happy for that. Well, bro Accutane or whatever. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it looks like. Full coverage foundation. I really like that foundation. And the only problem is you have to add like um, about two or three pumps on the back of your hand. So this is it. And it looks like I have eyeshadow on, but I don't. I don't know why my eyelids are always lighter than the rest of my face. But yeah, we pump this baby back up. Don't want that falling again like the other video. Okay, so now that we're done with that. I'm going to lightly brush off the foundation on my lips and for the eyebrows I'm just going to take off the foundation because I hate the way my eyebrows look with foundation on. I just really feel like it lines them up and you just don't sh see the true colors <clears throat> and it makes them look like less full. And I am going to fill my eyebrows in, but not in this video. It's going to be in another video, maybe. If you guys want to see how I fill my eyebrows in. Okay. <clears throat> then we're just going to lightly come out. And I'm just using my spoolie. Come out up and to the side. My eyebrows are not really shaped right now. I never really had a shape, so they kind of just uh, have that square box in the front and then they just go around and that's my little arch <laughs> you, you can't really see okay so after that while the foundation is kind of setting in I'm going to go in with my Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl and I'm just going to go on both eyelashes um, coating them with the mascara in a circular motion but you guys can also do that little squiggle motion to comb out whatever you guys want but this is how I do it so I'm gonna go in and turn it and brush up go in turn it and brush up now I'm gonna redip it cause my mascara is drying and I'm actually gonna buy another one today and then you're going to go in your inner lashes, turn, and go up. Now, if you guys have a mascara mistake, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Right when you get mascara in your eyelids or whatever, um, don't wipe it off right away because then that's going to create smudges. So we're just going to finish up our mascara, letting it, allowing it to dry a little, and then we'll wipe it off. And it'll come off very easily. And... Oops, for some reason I always forget my mirror. So I'm just going to do that for the inner lashes. Okay, then I'm going to do that for the second eye. Okay, 
<clears throat> my mascara is kind of drying out, so now I'm gonna re-dip it. Sorry guys, I felt like something was poking my eye. But I'm gonna go into my bottom lashes. Make that little weird face that all girls do. <laughs> and just recoat them a little. And for some reason I feel like something's poking my eye. But there's no eyelash right there. So sorry you guys, I had an eyelash in my eye. <clears throat> If I knew how to edit the videos, I would take that part out, but I can't edit videos that are on my iPod because Movie Filmmaker won't do that. If you guys know of a free um, editing program you can use with um, Apple-affiliated uh, videos you take on like Apple iPods or stuff, go ahead and comment below. That would really mean a lot to me. So basically, there's some my eyelashes right now. If you guys want a closer look or better... And that little mascara spot you saw. I'll show you guys how to take that off right now. So, let me just fix my iPod. <clears throat> okay, then, since um, I'm letting that coat dry, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my e.l.f. powder brush, the flat top. And I'm going to go in with my Mattifying Powder by Arbonne. I'm going to lightly dip and tap off the excess. Then I'm going to apply it to <clears throat> my oiliest areas. Again, we're dipping in every now and then. Just for that extra coverage, knowing I'm going to have it mattified throughout the day. Under my eyes, down my nose, basically just my T-zone. And after that, I'm going to dip in once, once or twice and then go over the rest of my face. Don't forget your eyelids. Even though you have mascara, it's not going to go onto the brush because it's already halfway dried, so don't worry. And down your neck, and to the side. Okay. <clears throat> now, after that, the mascara is pretty much where I want, how dry I want it to be. It doesn't take that long. I'm going to go in with my Buxom um, Lash by Fair Essentials. You can use any two mascaras. It really doesn't matter. Or you could use just one. And I'm just going to go in... With the same motion I used previously. I'm just gonna get my mirror. And I'm just combing in the inner lashes. I'm gonna do this on the other eye. And then on the bottom lashes. Clean up the mess we made earlier. I'm gonna use the other side of the Q-tip I just used for my eyebrows, and I need my mirror again. And you're just gonna wipe off any of the mascara mistakes you made. Sorry, you guys, my skin is kind of flaky right now. Because I got a sunburn and my skin's trying to peel. 
Okay, then after that, I'm going to go in with my Revlon uh, True Match Blush in Innocent Flush. And this is just what it looks like. And it's just a basic peachy blush with like silver, silver shimmer in it. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. powder brush. This is the, the dome shaped one. And now I'm just going to swirl it a couple times. Top off the excess. Smile. Apply to my apples and my cheeks and swirl upwards. So. Like that. So I'm going to dab, go to my other cheek, and what I like about this uh, is that you can build it up. So I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more. This is basically what it looks like so far. Now as you can see from the beginning of the video, everything's pretty much covered up well. So this is what it looks like. Okay. After that, we're going to go into our last step, which is basically, I'm just using this like, um, cheap um, eyelash curler. You can use anything you like. And then the reason why I like to curl my eyelashes after I do my eyelashes is because I feel like it makes them longer. And you can't really see, but I like the way they look. And sorry, my nose is kind of flaky. It's pretty dry today. And I'm just going to go in and pump about three times in there I'm going to show you guys the difference it makes <clears throat> this is the eyelash I uh, did with the curler and this one's the other one you guys can see a big difference I'm going to go in my other eye a couple pumps spread your lashes go in with my other eye spread your lashes with your fingers or you can use a q-tip or a spoolie it really doesn't matter but they're all separated okay so um Pretty much that's it. I didn't use much makeup in this video for the reason that uh, I really didn't need to, but this is my everyday makeup I wear for school or when I go out or something. I really don't like to wear that much. Um, right now I'm going to do my eyebrows, but if you guys want to see how I do that, just comment below so I can <clears throat> make a second video. But pretty much, I want to show you guys what I use real quick. Well, actually, no, because you guys, I already showed you guys what I used. So, this is the final look. As you can see, um, my skin tone is more evened out. My skin looks more alive and lively. And my eyes really pop with the mascara. Okay, thanks guys. Bye. Comment below, subscribe, or like. Um... If you want to check out my Accutane video, that would be greatly appreciated. And, oh yeah, I got two subscribers um, so far, and I'm really happy with that. Um, I'm going to mention their, their names in um, the description box below, because I want to really give them a shout out. And 
I know one of them is Life is Cool because she's been my subscriber for a while already. But I just got a new subscriber yesterday. So I'm going to mention her name in the down box below. And thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It really does make me feel better when I get subscribers because I'm like, oh, I'm doing something right maybe. But yeah, I um, feature hauls, uh, reviews, uh, routines and stuff. And I think I'm going to be doing my skincare routine um, soon, maybe tomorrow or, or the next day, but, um, yeah, so subscribe, like, comment if you have any questions, if you want any reviews on any of these items, uh, comment below.